What is going on all you beautiful humans? We are going to be installing the Aether Checker node on the VPS. So all the links are down below. Be sure to follow along and let's jump right in. So first off, get your uh, VPS pulled up. I use Rack Nerd. The reason being is because it's only $39 for the entire year, which is an insanely, insanely great uh, value. Uh, that link is down below. I just follow that link and it'll take you right to it. So once I got my Ragnar pulled up, here's my IP address. Going to get my terminal window pulled up. Copy my IP. Paste it in here. Click open and click accept. Now I use Putty. Uh, Putty, I'll leave the link down below as well because I find it the easiest to utilize. Yes, it looks scammy and weird when you go to the site, but that's because engineers don't care about making things look pretty. Now for Ragnar, they email you your password. So I'm gonna copy that now. And when you right click, after you put in root for your login and you right click right here, it's entered. You can't see anything, but it's there. Click enter and it'll log you right in. So we're gonna go ahead and put this over. There we go. All right, <clears throat> so uh, click the link down below. This is my Medium article because I can't put code into YouTube. And what you're gonna do is you're literally just gonna be able to copy and then paste. That's how simple I make it. Now this very first thing with the install, if Aether changes the URL here, you'll have to switch out the, the URL um, if they change where the link is. But I'll try to keep this updated so we don't have to worry about that as much. Um, and you can see this is uh, downloading somewhat slow, uh, three minutes here, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing. But you can always get ready for the next command and simply copy the next one. Obviously the first one is installing the Aether client and then the next one is going to be unzipping the file. Okay, so we are downloaded. So we'll go ahead and unzip the file now. So it has unzipped. Now we're gonna install a screen. Um, now this is so that it'll run constantly when you turn off the, uh, or close down your VPS. Um, so you gotta be real specific on these rules here. Now, after we get that installed, we're gonna open up a screen specifically for that Aether client. So we're gonna go ahead and right click that in there. Uh, let's see, why did I not like that one? Let's try that again. I believe we already did this install. Apt update, yeah, we did that already. Install screen, yes. Okay, got that installed now. I'll go ahead and paste the screen as Aether and it'll open up a new window there. So I like when I run into issues there because you can kind of follow along like what's going on because everybody hits problems sometimes, right? So I think uh, this got pasted on top of the other one or I wasn't done yet. So now we're gonna go ahead and find that folder. So now we're in the folder and now we can go ahead and run the Aether wallet or the, the Aether system here. So you gotta accept the terms of service. So you're literally gonna click Y and it's now going to initialize. Now, this next thing, we gotta make a burner wallet, okay? This burner wallet, you'll be able to see my, my uh, you know, private key here and stuff, but it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna use this one. Secondly, it's a burner wallet. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you copy and paste this to, um, you know, wherever you're not gonna forget it, okay? And you're gonna want to copy and paste both. So copy and paste the public key. And um, let's see, I think after you do it just like that, let me compose over here on my right side. Paste, yeah. So as soon as you drag and stop, it'll go ahead and copy it for you. And so then you can literally paste it wherever. Now, once again, this is just a burner wallet. So it's not as big of a deal if you do put it on like, you know, even like if you email it to yourself or save it on notepad or whatever. Um, and that's just because I'm just writing down that this is trash so that I'm not gonna use it again later. And then uh, you'll be able to still have that, right? So I accidentally pasted this in here. So I'm gonna delete all of that. And what we're gonna do now is because we have this wallet, you're gonna go over to the dashboard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow that link down below. It's gonna take you to app.aether.com dashboard. If it's your first time, it's gonna take you to the main site where you have to connect a wallet. Once you connect your wallet over here, make sure you select your wallet 
and then make sure you're on Arbitrum Sepalia. If you don't have any Ethereum on Arbitrum Sepalia, because this is a test net, so don't send any ETH there, you can go to the, another link down below, this L2 faucet, and what it'll do is it'll actually go ahead and give you a little bit of Ethereum. So you go ahead and just paste your address in here, paste confirm selection, and then it should go ahead and send you some tokens here, get tokens. Oh, wow. What is, what is that? Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and so now the it'll send you like a little bit of tokens. I don't know, maybe just point zero one ETH, whatever. You only need like a little bit of amount, so whatever uh, it sends you is fine. Once you get to your dashboard, you can go down to licenses, and then I actually have this running on my Windows right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this down and see. Am I sure I want to quit? Yes. So I want to close this down and see if I'm able to put in a new delegate. So I'm going to click undelegate. So if it's your very first time, it's going to look like this to where you need to delegate it. So you can undelegate if you're running on something else and you want to switch to your VPS. And then once you get to here, you're going to co copy that public key address that you copied down after you made that wallet on your VPS there on your terminal. Click delegate. All right, so we got delegate pending. This should pop up. Now, if it pops up with something stupid like this, $4 billion or whatever, just click reject, and you literally are just gonna have to basically uh, try to do it again. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but the Arbitrium Sepalia testnet is kind of wonky. <clears throat> so you just have to try a couple times, unfortunately. Pretty annoying, I know. Won't make you watch every single time it fails, but then it should pop up like this. Click confirm. And then <clears throat> we got an internal JSON RPC error. Uh, so that means once again, <clears throat> it did not work. So you can see this part's kind of annoying. Now the delegation is just allowing this burner wallet to like run the node, okay? It doesn't actually hold your tokens, doesn't hold the NFTs, nothing like that. That time I went ahead and went through and was confirmed for our delegation, so perfect. So now we're gonna go back over to our uh, terminal here, as well as pulling back up that Aether walkthrough. Now, once you uh, scroll down, you can go ahead and do this one to see what kind of, uh, or how many licenses you have pending. It'll just tell you, you know, you have like one or two or whatever. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter because you're gonna wanna do the all license approval anyways. So you're gonna paste that in there, click enter. It's gonna say approved, you have one delegated license. You say, cool, let me go double check. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go back to the dashboard again. We're gonna click refresh on the web page. Now this is delegated, working. How simple is that? Um, now, these are not real rewards yet, okay? Um, but this is at least really good practice for you to kind of walk through so that once it is live, <clears throat> you know exactly where to go. You know that uh, having Dr. Wookie's message or medium article pinned is going to help you out in the future. And if you want to, you know, check and see uh, other stuff because you're like that dashboard doesn't make you feel good enough. You can go ahead and post in this next one. It'll show my wallet here is running that license key. And then if you want to even go further, you can look at some of the different commands here. Now, these two things you do not need to do. Um, but it'll give you all these different things. It'll show that we're running, one's delegated, all that fun stuff. And I forgot probably one of the most important things is you can't just close this terminal. Uh, as you can see right here, do not copy and paste. What you're gonna do is when you're clicked there, okay, you're actually gonna hold down the control button, A and D. Once you do that, <clears throat> you've detached from Aether there. And so now you're back to your normal terminal window here and you can actually close this one down. Okay, if you close it with that screen open, it will shut it down completely. You'll be able to see that it's shut down completely because you'll go over to licenses here. When you reload, instead of it saying working, it it'll, will not be working anymore. So make sure you do it that way. Now, I'm gonna go over to the dashboard to show you a couple more things here because obviously gonna look similar to this. Obviously for your dashboard, you'll see how many checker nodes you have running. You can run 100 on one VPS. Uh, or one platform, which is cool. You can see how much uh, you know ATH you got in your last period, the total accrued you have, the total claimable, the total withdrawal. Um, so if you go over to your licenses, you obviously see how many licenses you have here. 
and activity. You can see the rewards you're getting each day and then with the claim. Now, I'm assuming this is gonna be a little bit different because they don't have like, um, they don't have it set here where it is like telling me which ones I'm not gonna have an issue with 120 days versus the 30 days. Uh, remember, it has to be 120 days vested before you can claim 100% of it. But if you go ahead and click claim on here, just practice again. If it does something stupid like that on the Arbitrium Sepalia, then you just have to literally do it again. And it wants me to change the number again. Exceeded maximum claimable amount. All right, let's go down to this. Uh, there is like a fee of five there. It doesn't really like it, probably just because, oh, maybe it did go through. That's weird. Anyways, uh, obviously it's sometimes a little bit, uh, a little bit glitchy there. Set user tokens. See what we got over here. Yeah, so it didn't go through yet because this is what I have. Um, I haven't tried withdrawing. Let's go ahead and click withdraw and just see just for fun. So same thing. Uh, That's why I don't really mess around too much on this because the Arbitrium of Aaliyah, this test net is kind of a little wonky. So um, it's kind of a pain trying to, uh, you know, progress through here. But this is what it's going to generally be looking like when we are on the actual Arbitrum network. Um, and as you can see now, it's not showing my my rewards, but I probably just need to reload and or wait a while for it to kind of reset. So that's the install. Let me know if you have any questions below. And as always, stay warm, Wookiees. Mm -hmm.